Do you want a bath? Or do you want a bath? Which one? I want a bath. <laughs> Why is it bad? Why be landscape, not portrait? Because that's how you have to film it to go into my YouTube video. I got it. Okay, so. Bath time. All right. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Today, <laughs> now you gotta get your ferret. That's the first thing you need. And we're gonna be doing an oatmeal soak. So it's not a bath and you should only do this like once or twice a year. Okay, come here, Brian. Come on over. So look at what they did to this. Um, so you're gonna take your oats and we're gonna, they have to be like this. They can't be like, like this. None of this, only this. Now it doesn't matter how much you put in here, but you do not need a lot. So don't go around, you know, wasting your oats. Perfectly good oats. Like this much, not a lot. Now you can do the sock method where you'll put this in a sock instead and do it that way, but I don't really want to ruin a sock. So then you're gonna take your fork. You're gonna just poke a bunch of holes. Be careful not to poke yourself um, in the bag. Get in the poking. And do enough on both sides. And then I already have the bath ready. It's the sink. And you use water that is warmer than lukewarm. So like comfortable for you, but not too hot, obviously. But then, come here. Come here, show, show oats. And then as the water gets in there, it'll start making like it all nice and cloudy and you can like push it if you want to speed up the process a little bit. And it's good for your hands too, because it's just oats. They're clearly very excited for bath time. Just kidding. The only one who actually enjoys this is Mo Mom. Okay, grab a ferret. Papa's gonna really not enjoy this. We're gonna put his feet in first. <laughs> and then slowly put him in. Make this process as quick as you can if your ferret is known to not enjoy it. Hi, buddy. Make sure you get around her ears. That's where they're stinkiest. Whoa! Good boy. Okay. And then, it's easiest if you have two people. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wanna try to dry them off as best you can before you let them down, because when you let them down, they're gonna go crazy. Here goes. Time to be a crazy guy. Now we're only bathing Appa and Momo today, so let me get Momo. I'm gonna wake her up first. You ready? Yes, good Momo. Momo enjoys bath time usually. <laughs> you got tiny head. Do you have fun? Sometimes she will dunk and go under the water. <laughs> oh, yes. Gotta get her. It's best to burrito them <laughs> and try to dry her off as best you can. And then let them free. So for clipping nails, all you need is a nail clipper. It's best if you use one that is meant for ferrets or cats. So it looks like this has a little curved. And that's all we use. We don't use treats or anything like that, but feel free as long as they're healthy treats. 
and you don't want to hit the red part that is the part that you do not want to cut Once you know what you're doing, it's easier. And then some you might not need to cut because they just don't good. grow as fast. Yep, he's good. Now you have Patsu. Oh, Patsu got a PV belly. Here, let me do this next. You might need a bath if you don't. Boy. Well then, good boy. But eventually they should learn to sit nice like Patsu. From a baby, I would touch his feetsies and his toes and kiss them so he got used to it. But it's time to put Patsu in the bath. Patsu doesn't really enjoy the bath that much. Don't worry about it, I'll just get your belly. Okay, okay, get the towel ready. Get ready, Here it goes. I was like, what's the big deal? Why did everyone have a bath and not me? You don't need one, Hal. <laughs> so I recommend feeding one to two whole eggs whisked together weekly per ferret. And now would be a good time to offer an egg right after a bath because they will lick themselves after a bath and it's good to prevent hairballs um, from all the licking after a bath. But again, I just wanna reiterate that ferrets do not need baths at all. They do not need bathing with shampoo either or any washes. As you can see, the warm water is enough to make them all soft and fluffy for the time being until their oils are produced again on their body. But the reason why <laughs> we don't bathe is because it one makes them smellier and two it's really bad for their coat as well so if you know someone or if you are someone who bathes their ferret regularly please stop doing that because it is very bad for them <laughs> and i wanted to add that a nice little dig box made of non-instant rice is really good to help remove some of their oils that they produce, the excess oils that they have as well, and it makes them nice and soft. And it's also a very good enrichment tool as well. So it is a multi-purpose item <laughs> and the ferrets really love to play with it. So that is all we really do as far as maintenance goes for the ferrets because I mean there's not really much that you need to do but a lot of you have been requesting that I make a bathing nail trimming video. Now for ear cleaning you can just use a warm washcloth and clean the outside of the ear. Do not put anything inside of the ferret's ear. If you have multiple ferrets there's really no reason to clean their ears. I don't clean their ears on a normal basis or if at all because they will clean each other's ears so I don't have to do it for them. So that is all that I really do with them. They are super easy when it comes to maintenance stuff because there's not much that you have to do. But because you guys requested the video, I figured I would make it anyways. But here's Momo. Hey Momo, say goodbye. All clean.